Are you happy today? Murishimye uyu munsi. Are you happy? Murishimye. Ah. Uh, I'm so humbled to be before you again. Nongiye guca bugufi imbere yanyu uyu munsi. Ah, because uh, I know I'm standing before men and women of God. May the Lord bless you because of also coming to hear from us what God has in store for us. Uh, I like to start by saying my names to those who were not here yesterday. I'm Pastor Ruben Luvanga. Uh, I come from Kenya. I'm so privileged to be here in Kampala. Uh, I know that God has a purpose to why we are meeting today. Uh, we are meeting from yesterday and today. We work with an organization called Agape Project International. Agape Project International. That is, in short form, it is API USA. If you want to get more information of what we're doing, you can just log on to website. Yeah. Yes. So, more of what yes. More of what we are doing is found there. More of what we are doing. Oh, but uh, in short, we have several projects that we are doing. We have free medical camps that we conduct in different areas. So when we, go, when we go to a particular place, we, uh, we, we, uh, we do the camp for like a week. And uh, during that week, all the people that are going to be examined by doctors, they are going to be treated free of charge. Apart from that, we also have a, a school of ministry. And uh, in the school of ministry, we train pastors by uh, we train pastors and we give them certificates. We have uh, our lowest level is higher diploma. Then we have degree and masters. And now we are working on and getting the doctorate degree. And, and anyone can is allowed to come in our classes to, to learn with us. Even if you don't want certificates, you are allowed to come and get the knowledge. Because our major work is to empower church leaders. And most of the times when we conduct a seminar or a conference like this, we give out free books. Uh, we give, uh, we can, we, sometimes we also give out Bibles. Study Bibles. But we don't sell them. We just give free of charge to empower church leaders and pastors. So for today, I know we have some good books that each one is going to get free of charge. And uh, we are asking for your prayers that uh, God will allow us next time to come with Bibles or even study Bibles. But one thing that we are assuring you Every other time we'll come, we'll come with a different book and sound book. 
ariko igihe cyose tuzaba tuziye tuzazana ibitabo byiza cyane so uh, as i said we have a school of ministry is called APA school of ministry uko nari mbivuze dufite ishuri ryigisha abakozi b'Imana gitwa ngiriri izina ryaryo the one you're seeing there is called Michael Sandberg that is our director uriya mureba yitwa Michael Sandberg niwe director w'iryo shuri he is the one who is coordinating all these programs that are, are working uh, are taking place here niwe muhuza bikorwa w'ibi bikorwa byose dukorera hano uyu munsi so is found in USA aba muri leta zunze ubumwe za America so in our website you can get his contact and also tell him what you have experienced throughout this week winjiye hari ya muri ya website ushobora kumubona ukaba wamubwira ico wungutse muri seminaire praise the lord jesus amen i said i'm married nababwiye yuko nubatse Uh, I'm also a pastor of a church it's called Agape Christian Fellowship. Atikani nkuri yitorero ryitwa Agape Christian Fellowship. I'm also one of the teachers in APA School of Ministry. Kandi numwe mu bigisha muri riri ashuru amaze kuturangira and I also founded an organization called Agape Kenet. Ariko kandi nkaba no muri organization yitwa Agape Found Care. Yeah. So that is my wife she's called Maureen. Uriano mudamu we yitwa Maureen and she knows that I'm here. Kandi azineza ko ari hano. I did not just run away. Ntabwo aziko yatabanyitse nta hangayitse. She is also praying for, for me. Ahubwo ari maransengeraho ndi kugira ngo nkore muri moneze. We have two children that the boy is called Dan. Te dufite abana babiri umuhungu n'umukobwa ngaba ari hariya. He is five years old. Umwe afite imyaka 5 and the last one that's a girl she's called precious. Uriya mukobwa afite yitwa precious and uh, for now she's the last one. Kugeza ubu ngubu niwe ukira umuherezi afite imyaka 3. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Then uh, among what, what we're doing in Agape Kenet, mu bintu bimwe dukora muri Agape Kenet, we we train young girls and young boys do hamahugurwa urubyiruko abahungu n'abakobwa on sanctity of life kubuzima bwejejwe kandi butunganye we value life so much do hagaciro ubuzima cyane and especially to was the girls cyane cyane kubakobwa who have gotten pregnant while they are still at school kubera yuko bakunda gutwara inda bakiri ku ishuri we we teach them and allow them to carry pregnancy until the right time turabigisha kandi tukababwira kwirinda gutwara inda mbakira abakobwa kugeza igihe gikwiriye kigeze we don't advocate for preg- uh, for abortion ntabwo dutanga inama kugukuramo inda and we don't give out family planning drugs kandi nta nubwo twemera cyangwa ngo dutange ibinini bibaho guteganyiriza urubyaro cyangwa planning family we train them on sang- uh, on sacredness of sexual integrity tuba dushaka yuko bagomba kubaha ikimana yavuze mu kubana ku mugore n'umugabo we want them to stay pure until when they are married tukaba dushaka rero guherekeza urubyiruko rwacu mu nyigisho kuzageza bubatse nkuko imana ishaka to us girls we also uh, give them free sanitary pads I, I think for women will understand that. Okay. You you know that what I'm saying? So we give them sanitary pads, towels. Okay, baba ha zakotex bakobwa. Yeah, so in the place where we are coming we have very poor girls who are not able to afford that. Uh wigeze kugira abakobwa baza babakene badashobora kuzigurira. We also do uh a uh, school ministry where we train young boys and young, ga- young girls to be pure until the right time dufite kandi shuri ryigisha urubyiruko abahungu n'abakobwa kwirinda no gutunganira imana kugeza igihe gikwiye kigeze in our organization uh, we we have an ultrasound machine muri organization yabo bafite iri amashine mureba hariya ikora ibintu by'ubuzima cyangwa by'isuku where young girls who have gotten pregnant can come to be to get the pictures to see their babies in the womb kugira ngo ige haba haba ibyagwa kagira umukobwa utwarinda aze kuri kirya cyuma babe basuzuma barebe ko umwana meze munda when they come there it is free of charge 
And, and most of them who wanted to do abortion, when they see how their baby is in the womb, they change their mind. And Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. I don't think that was so important. But I just saw it good to give a background of what we're doing. Yes. So we are continuing with biblical counseling. I said biblical counseling is the heart of the church. Because every day we get problems in our churches. And even the people who think they are so spiritual, they also fall in temptations. Every one of us comes to a problem in one time or another. I also say the reason as to why we do biblical counseling is because it is discipleship. And today, if you can, uh, if you are very keen, you are going to realize that there is no discipleship in the church. Uh, discipleship is about teachings. Teaching is so rare in our modern church today. Many Christians don't like teachings. They like more of preaching. But then if there's anything that is going to build up the church, it is teachings. Let me surprise us that even prophecy sometimes don't change the church. I've seen that in our country. In a church whereby it is being led by a prophet alone and teachers and uh, teachers and evangelists are not allowed to, to minister. People just come so that they can be seen or be prophesied upon. And after being prophesied, they leave. And most of the churches that are led by prophets, the sons and children of God then never grow up. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Maybe uh, if you don't agree with me, I'll want you to do your own research for that. Teachings will always make a church to grow up. We realize that... Uh, Today, people are bringing in psychology in the church. The, meaning they're taking the teachings of the world and they want it to, uh, to align in the church or they want it to be used in the church. But yesterday I said that Mo, uh, uh, psychological counseling is not powerful, has no power to change any person. But psychological It is only the word of God that has got power to change us. If you want to see yourself changing, then the word of God has to be put in your heart. Today I want us to talk about Christian approaches towards counseling. How people, how Christians view counseling. Christians view counseling. Number one, 
uh, of what we're going to see, it is what we call radical separation, meaning there are people who say psychologists and pastors work from a very different angle. Ikinu chambere no kubugango ni awa kristo na pastori bashora gukora muri mungu ni zitandu kani. Meaning, what uh, psychological counseling are doing, they are handling problem, but at a very different angle in comparison to what pastors are supposed to do. Ingu ni mga tuireba mga bumenyi, bugiwi bumenyi amundu busanzu, gasi ya ansebu ni mga psikoloji, indi ingu ni tukaibo na mga ijamboli jimana, alijo mga pastor ya hagazim. In some churches, people who have problem are taken by their own pastors to psychological counselors for counseling. Tusanga mumate ore ramwe muri iki gihe bafata abantu babo cyangwa se abakristo babo bakabashira ba psikologe ngo ari bo bagenda baje kubafasha because those counselors tell pastors that you don't qualify to be able to counsel this person nyamara kandi abo bakansela baba psikologe ntabwo bahagaze mu mwanya nyawo kugira ngo babashe kuba ku buzima remember i said this yesterday nimwibuke narabivuze ejo most of these psychological counselors don't know who man is Benshi muri abo bapsikologe ntabwo bazi umuntu icyaricyo They say that man is basically good Bo baravuga ngo umuntu mukuremwa kwe ni mwiza But from what we read yesterday we understood that man is not good at all man is evil in his heart Ariko ni mwibuka ibyo twavuze ejo twe twaravuze ngo umuntu kuva mukuremwa kwe cyangwa mukuvuka kwe si mwiza ahubwo ni mubi mu mutima wawe The heart of man is so much deceitful who can cure it Umutima w'umuntu uragoye kumenya byose kandi ugira agahinda muri wo ninde wabasha kuhukiza So what we see is that they all address same problem but then at very different angles Rero icyo tugiye kureba nuko umutima ushobora gufashwa ariko mu nguni itandukanye niriya abisi bakunda gushakiramo Then in the church uh, we we ask this question who is qualified to counsel Ikibazo rero ninde ukwiriye guhagarara kugira ngo akore ibyo wo mutima w'umuntu wo Kristo keneye uyu munsi If it's about psychological counselors these people must have a training and also a certification for that Iyo ari abapsikologe cyangwa inyigisho z'ubumenya umuntu zisanzwe bariga bakabona impamya bumenyi zibemerera yuko bashobora gukora umurimo I'll be addressing this later on In the church the people that are qualified to counsel are those who are spiritual Mwitorero abantu bakwiriye kuba bafasha abandi nabantu babanyamwuka but in Africa, if you want to ask people who is a spiritual person, you're going to get very many definitions. In Africa, people believe if you're spiritual, you must be able to shiver and fall down so that when you stand up, you come with a message. Muri Afrika bazakubwira bati ni wa muntu utitira akabase yanatura nabantu cyangwa se uvuga abantu bagatitira bakaba bakwitura hasi ariko siye bahagurutse bahagurukana message mezite Is that really being spiritual? Ati mureke dutangire dusome ijambo ry'Imana. You just go to our churches around you you are going to wonder what people are doing. Most people don't want to read the Bible. Sometimes they pray a lot. But praying so much and lacking the word. How are you sure it's not the devil inside you operating? That is why in case we have any prophecy even here today, we are going to judge it by the word. But then do you know what these false prophets will tell you? Don't point fingers of the anointed. For you who are here, if there's any verse that I showed you, if you go back and check and don't find it, you have every right to come and question me. Ask me, why did you say this, Pastor? If I don't give enough reason, then you're supposed to disqualify or discredit what I said. 
warangiza nuza gusanga we ubwawe utari mubi mu mutima wawe uzagaruke ngo umubaze ngo se none kubera iki wampimye kuja gushaka mu jambo ry'Imana kuko nasanze nta kindeka and i'm not going to curse you i'm not going to curse you ariko ntabwo ngiye kubavuma cyangwa kubacira urubanza let me go ahead reka nkomeze then number 1 we say the radical separation number 2 it is integration meaning they are saying we can take some bit of psychological counseling then mix it with biblical counseling no kuvuga ngo intambwe ya kabiri tugiye kureba ukuntu twafata bwa bumenyi bwa ba psikologe tubwinjize mu jambo ry'Imana but the bible is warning us so much about that ariko bibilia iraza kugira ico itubwira kuri ibyo ngibyo how can unbelievers and believers have anything in common ni gute umuntu utizera n'uwizera bagira ikintu kimwe bahurizaho kikabacafasha we say these people are very far from god bari abantu batemera kristo yesu bari kure nyine y'Imana you get somebody who was going to school to study psychology for 4 years uzasanga umuntu yaragiye muri kaminuza yige psikoloji imyaka 4 and has no any formal training on the bible ariko nta fite habe ubugingo cyangwa akomoka ibyo ubugingo it is from the heart where we are going to address ibyo ubugingo biza bituruka mu mutima kandi umutima niwe dushaka gukiza psychological counselors will tell you man doesn't have a heart or spirit ubumenyi cyangwa ubujana ama busanzwe bwa psikoloji buzakubwira yuko umuntu adafite umutima and if there's anything they don't want you to say you have a spirit ahubwo bazakubwira yuko umuntu afite esprit cyangwa navita gute they just want you to say there's something inside you bazakubwira ngo hari ikintu muri wowe badashobora gusobanura cyangwa baba banacita nyuma but at the same time when they are counseling you they don't want to offend you because you will not pay them ariko kandi iyo batanga ubujana amabwabo nta nicyo bashobora kuba bagufasha kere kuba ubanje ukabishura but for us will be like jesus ariko twe tubikora nka kristo to this samaritan woman iyo dukora dukora nka basamaria beza he says before i give you the waters of life yaravuze ati nshaka kugwa amazi y'ubugingo go bring your husband kandi ko era ko maze kuyaguha genda na uzanira umugabo mbere yuko nguha amazi y'ubugingo genda uzanira umugabo wawe and the woman was really touched umugore akorwaho muri ako kanya he said i don't have one avuga ati rega nta mugabo ngira Jesus said you have said Yes aramubwira tuvugishira ukuri Even the one you have now Abe nuwo muri kumwe bunyine su wawe Let me ask us if a wealthy woman will come to our church Ileka mbabaze we siye mugore aza kuza mu itorero ryawe wewe mu pastor She has left his husband at home Yasize uri amugabo meze kuri ya muruko And now he's walking around with young men around Akaba ari mu korana n'abandi bagabo aho ngaho pembeni kumpande Are we able to confront them wakwicarana nawe pastor mukaganira nkuko Kristo yaganiriye nawe That should be a question we should be pondering Icyo ni kibazo nacyo tuba tugomba gukemura Biblical counseling relies on the Holy Spirit Bujana amabwa Bibiliya nanone buvuga kuri mwuka wera It relies on the Holy Spirit Bukora kuri mwuka wera Without the Holy Spirit there's nothing we can do Iyo atari mwuka wera nta cyashoboka Let me read the last scripture Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 Kansomi cyanditswe cyanyuma mu bagaratia We want to see who is qualified to do counseling Tuze kureba umuntu ukwiriye gutanga ubujana amabwa Kristo The Bible says brethren if a man is overtaken in any trespass you who are spiritual chapter 6 verse 1 it says, brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Amen. Amen. It says the spiritual are supposed to restore the ones who have trespassed. Muka afite ubushobozi bwo kugarura umuntu mu mwanya we. Who are the spiritual? Muka ninde? These are the people who are in right standing with God. No muntu uhagararana aho cyangwa uhagaze mu kuboko kw'iburyo kw'Imana. It means all believers are supposed to be spiritual, meaning they are supposed to do counseling. 
biravuze ngo umuntu wese wo Kristo afite uwo mwuka kandi abasha gukora ubujana mu Kristo older women should counsel younger women ababyeyi aba mama cyangwa abagore bakuze baba bashobora kugira inama abakobwa batoya nabagore bakiri bato how to love their husbands and their children bakigisha abagore bakiri bato iburyo bagomba gukunda abagabo babo nabana babo and how to take care of their homes kandi bakabigisha uko bagomba kwita ku ngo zabo older men should counsel younger men abagabo bakuze mugomba kugira inama abahungu bubatse vuba how to love their husbands and how to work hard kabigisha uburyo bakunda abagore babo ndetse no gukorera ingo zabo lastly we don't counsel unbelievers bwanyuma ntabwo twagira twabasha gutanga inama ikwiye ku muntu utizera we only counsel believers tuzadutanga inama gusa kubizera why because unbelievers don't know god kubera yuko utizera ntazima if there's anything we will do first himbari kintu twakora bwa mbere it is to preach for them who christ is nokubanza kubabwiriza Kristo tuwari we they didn't need to know Christ first in their hearts bagomba kubanza kumenya Kristo bwa mbere mu mitima yabo so that they'll be able to understand what the scripture says none bakabasha kumva iki jambo ry'Imana rivuga father in jesus name i would like to thank you and to bless you because you have been so gracious to us we are asking help us to understand your word to understand your truth and to live by it how i pray that in jesus holy name you shall continually align us in your truth and in your word we honor you god because by your grace we are we are walking in spirituality by your grace we are doing counseling by your grace oh god almighty we are serving you thank you because of all the servants all your servants here how i'm praying that in jesus mighty name you are making us effective in our in, in our callings in jesus holy name we pray and mashimeshi kumana May God bless you so much.